Hello all. In this video we shall see how to set up a CCTV DVR for remote viewing over internet. Right click to get the menu and click on home. Under general tab you can set the video standard and uh, system time. Our focus here is on network settings so click on network. You, s you see two options static IP and then DHCP. Static IP address is assigned manually. DHCP is dynamic configuration protocol. Generally, a router is the device that is at top of your home network. It is a gateway device and acts as a DHCP server. When a new device like uh, DVR is connected to the router, the server assigns an IP address. You go for DHCP. Note down the IP address assigned. Here it is 192.168.1.108. This is the IP address of your DVR. At the bottom you see HTTP port, hypertext uh, pro transfer protocol, that is 80 by default. That is the default port for www. Now click on net service at the bottom and then note down the mobile monitor port number. Here it is 34599. You have to open these two ports, HTTP and mobile monitor ports to incoming traffic. For outgoing traffic, uh, no port is closed. Opening the port for incoming traffic is called port forwarding. To know the IP address, type in CMD under run of your Windows PC to get the command prompt. Here you type in IP config. Now you see the gateway IP address 192.168.1.1. This is the IP address of your uh, router. Note down this IP addresses. Now we shall see how to do the port forwarding. Type in that uh, router's IP address inside the web browser 192.168.1.1. Enter the username and uh, password. Mine is the uh, Linksys router. Here are some of the lists of uh, routers with IP address user and username and password. If we scroll down the list, you can see the uh, router's IP address 192.168.1.1 and to the bottom of it you can see the network address here it is 192.168.1.108 and maximum number of DHCP users is 50 that means up to 192.168.1 from 108 to 158 users are assigned Opening the ports 80 and 34599 for incoming traffic is called port forwarding. Now click on applications and gaming and under port range forwarding you have to enter these ports. Under application you give a name like DVR and the start address is 80 and then end is 80. For protocol you select both uh, that is TCP as well as UDP and IP address is the IP address of your uh, DVR 192.168.1.108 same way do the port forwarding for uh, mobile port 34599 here the IP address is same as that of DVR 192.168.108 now save the settings and then under the browser you go to the site can you see me dot org from this website we can see whether our uh, port setting is correct or not visit the site www dot can you see me dot org it automatically displays your IP under which uh, what port the number is given you enter the port 80 and click on check your port if it is success you can see I can see your service on this uh, IP on port 80 same way give the port number 34599 and click on check your port you can see success I can see your service on this uh, IP address on port 34599 now the ports are open and it is ready for mobile viewing
now inside the Internet Explorer if you type in the IP address you can get the username and password of uh, DVR type in the username and password to view the cameras note that in IE browser the ActiveX should be enabled for proper viewing of cameras now we shall see how to uh, view the DVR on a Windows mobile phone for viewing on a Windows mobile phone you have to install an application called MI Pro go to store and then under apps you search for MI Pro that is a free software download MI Pro and install it after the installation is over touch the icon to open the MI Pro now you can see the devices you uh, touch the devices and then touch the plus symbol to add devices under device name you provide a name like uh, DVR and then under address you provide the IP address which you have seen under can you see me uh, dot org if you have a static address from your ISP provider or a Dyn DNS account enter the uh, address inside the box the under the mobile port you give the mobile port number 34599 the username and password is the username and password of uh, DVR here it is uh, admin and the password is blank maximum channel is uh, 8 I am using an 8 channel DVR so type in 8 touch ok now the setup is ready open the DVR one one camera is connected at channel 4 I'm just opening the uh, camera view success now I can view the camera on my mobile phone now we shall see how to view the cameras on a Android mobile install VMI Pro uh, from the market open the VMI Pro and under device list you touch the plus symbol to add the device name you can provide any device name and then under address you provide the IP address and mobile port number is 34599 uh, username and uh, password is uh, that of uh, DVR here username is admin and uh, password is blank maximum channel is uh, 8 as I am using an 8 channel DVR now click on OK no DVR is added you touch the DVR to open the application uh, one camera is connected at ch channel 4 I am able to view that on my mobile and ensure that you exit the program after uh, viewing Thank you for watching.